Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that we're going to talk about tonight is something that I think needs to be addressed. Should we vote with our feet and move out of the states that are anti-friendly to the gun rights movement or stay and fight and take those states back? The interview that I'm about to show you from the USCC Expo was a really interesting perspective of someone who did just that. This is something that I think is a bigger part of our gun rights conversation as we're consolidating in gun-friendly zones and evacuating gun control zones. This is something interesting. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. And let me know your opinion down in the comments field below. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Aventon, and then we're going to hit it. Now, today's sponsor is Aventon. Aventon not only makes electric bikes, they make them high quality at an affordable price. They also use all of their own parts to make the complete bike instead of using a hodgepodge of different parts, which makes a much better product. With a wide range of models, Aventon makes a model to suit a variety of riding needs and styles. So check them out in the description box below and thank you so much to Aventon to making this content possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this interview and I cannot wait to see this conversation and if it starts something nationally. All right, so as I mentioned in the intro, I'm at USCCA, this is day two, but I love the interviews that we got into yesterday, and I wanna get some more for you guys to give you an understanding of not only the feel of the show, but also where everyone is at from a standpoint of the population. Because we spend a lot of time talking with videos about things that are involved in our 2A, but what about the actual 2A itself in the community? And that is why I'm bringing you these interviews. So, what would you like your name to be for this interview? Where are you from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, okay. So for this interview, we're gonna call you Dallas, Texas. I like that. All right, so first question I'll ask everybody and then we're gonna build from there. Would you say that our Second Amendment rights are growing or are they declining or are they stagnant? I think it depends on where you are living right now. Okay, so I think, locationally. I think in Texas, they've been expanding since I moved here. Okay. And I think in certain areas, they've been trying to restrict them as much as possible. Gotcha, so more regional, kind of a state's model, like hey, for example, Maryland, New York, Rhode Island, those would be detrimental to gun rights. Texas, Georgia, constitutional carry states that are growing would be a positive. I left New York because of the restrictions on the Second Amendment. The sole reason? Well, that and the taxes. Well, right? yeah, of course, yeah, because that's, a lot of us know all about that. So from a Second Amendment standpoint, so you are actually one of the people who voted with your feet. Yes. I mean, effectively, you took the move, like you have family. Yes, I do. Right, so it's like you actually moved your entire life for your either gun rights or your taxation or like lots of things, but really the thing is you moved with your feet. I think that you have to protect your rights yeah. and to stay, and some people stay and fight, but mm -hmm. to me, it's a fight that is just going to keep on going on, and okay. I wasn't willing to give up my ARs, and I did not <laughs> want to give up my high capacity magazines and I said high, it's enough high capacity right <laughs> according to them I think whatever fits in the gun is the right capacity I got so you. it's I got kind you. of a, a funny uh, it's like assault weapons yes it's it's just a buzzword 100%. you know if you hit someone with a rock it's an assault rock it is an assault rock <laughs> and, and I personally always say my defensive rifle my mm -hmm. defensive carry these I've never assaulted anyone with a weapon so right. to me it's about defense not assault Correct, and that's actually, I mean, you just hit on like three different amazing directions we could go. So, from a standpoint of just the perception, because New York, because I, I don't travel to New York a lot, like I don't live there, obviously. Um, what's the mentality inside New York from a gun perspective? I mean, because you even mentioned like there's the assault verbiage, there's the different branding of assault weapons. Like, what's the mentality of everyday citizen? I think the mentality is that the gun is a problem rather than the person. Okay. And that they think that violence would stop if guns go away, right? Like, you know, King killed Abel with a rock. So, okay. You have to kind of look at it like that. And by continually blaming the gun, it's not stopping the root of the problem, which is bad, violent people belong in prison. They don't belong yeah. walking around those so, streets. And so that kind of filters into a completely different conversation, right? So, like, essentially what you just said, where guns are scapegoated as the main cause of any kind of problem. They're obviously not, but that's what they're going after, right? So what is the argument, firsthand experience from like the polymer pipeline or the iron pipeline where they're basically saying, well, it's not the gun control is failing in New York. It's that they're bringing in guns from other states. That's the problem. Well, they're doing a hell of a job of stopping drugs, aren't they? So, I mean, wherever there's a demand, it's gonna get met by the free market, whether it's the white market or the black market. Correct. 
Right. So, I mean, it, it really is as simple as what you just described. It is supply and demand. The only difference is you're not blocking people from getting guns. You're making the price go up or down. When I lived in New York, I could get an illegal gun in, in 20 minutes, and I could not get a legal gun without having to get a handgun permit right. and jump through red tape. So it's much easier for a criminal to get a gun mm -hmm. in New York than it is for a law-abiding citizen. And, and I appreciate you sharing that with me because that right there, from that first person perspective, a lot of people who maybe don't live in New York, they don't really fully experience that, right? They don't really, they don't really have a full grasp on what it's actually like behind these gun control zones. Because I mean, you're obviously not from Illinois, but I, I've heard exact same reports. It's all about, well, you can easily get whatever you want, except if you're a legal citizen, in which case you have to pay more fines, you have to come out of pocket, you have to wait for more waiting periods, like all these things. They don't work. I mean, Chicago's doing so great right, right now. And right. I, I think it's that they don't want to admit that the laws they passed are wrong. Like, and, you know, I remember New York City when I was young under Giuliani being a great place, and it's mm -hmm. descended into a hell. My sister saw someone get murdered in front of her building, and she works in a really nice area. That's crazy. And she's scared to death to go into the city. She won't bring her kids in. My mm -hmm. mom still lives in the greater tri-state area. She won't even go to Lincoln Center to see a ballet if it's not in the afternoon because she's scared to be in the city at night. Right. And that's and, and kind of in summation, that's what I like to call the failed and broken promise of gun control. Like on my channel, I will, I will kind of highlight, and I spend a lot of time on the promises that they say these things will go away if just guns don't exist anymore. But the irony is they still exist. In fact, they magnify the more rights they infringe. Well, you know, the gun controllers like to cite certain favorable statistics. Yes. But if you look at, say, London, England, right? Mm -hmm. So they put all this great gun control in fact, but overall street violence is up. And now people mm -hmm. are just getting stabbed. Right. So violence to me is violence. And mm -hmm. if people are dying, what is the problem? It's the criminals. Correct. And that is a fantastic way to end that because that's exactly what it is. Thank you so much, Dallas, Texas. Hey, thank you very much. Glad to be here. No Have a great day. See you later.